We'll show you how to make a fishing pole real quick. And to do that, it's just like so. And ta da, you got a fishing pole and you can fish. And we'll show you how to fish in a little while. And we're also going to make a bow here. Now this could be interesting because I haven't made a bow for a while. Why yes, look at that. The embarrassment. Uh, <laughs> oh. But yeah. I'm not a bow user on here. Hardly I ever use a bow. That's how you make a bow. <laughs> oh, uh, but yeah. I usually don't use a bow very often. And everything. And we do got some arrows. And the nifty thing about the new, new way the bows are. Is we'll make a target here. We'll put it right there. And with the news on on the bow, you have to hold in with the right mouse button. And when you let go, you see it goes up and I completely missed the target. So you can just hold it down and it fires in the things. It's always good to practice too. And you just sit there and you can practice. And the good part is, is you can get your arrows back at your shot. Unless you're shot into a monster. But basically it looks like you're shooting at a little hunting target there. And you can make a nice little shooting range. And I might show you all how to do something like that. Because it's a lot of fun doing that. I can just do, sit here and shoot crap out of things. So it looks like you're shooting on a hunting target. Because they're all just stuck in there. It's pretty nifty. And we'll start these up. And we'll be back whenever. Oh, hey, creeper. Also, when you use a bow, you see how they're starting to turn green now to bow? Basically, it, um... It now has a durability and probably wasn't the very smartest thing to do. And you can actually break your bow now. Your bow is no longer invincible. But we'll be back when these are finished. Alrighty, we got quite a few bricks now. So what we'll do is so. We'll make some here. That's the only bad part about bricks is it takes a good while for them to get made. And we'll keep the fishing pole out. Yeah, we'll keep the bow out too. Okay. We got the Z cobble. I'm gonna use that for part of it. And we'll have to I'll we'll have to harvest some more lumber soon. Oh, that's right. Almost forgot. Okay, something's very important here. So I don't have to keep running back to the spawn. And I'll keep you from doing the same. Is a bed. And you need three wool, three wooden planks, ta-da, a bed. And that resets your spawn when you use it. It's quite useful. Quite useful indeed. 
And as you seen here, I got a nice little reed farm growing and everything. And they grow up to three high. They could do a little bit more than that now. But they used to only go up three high. They might, like I say, they might do a little better than that now, but not going to really stress on it. Might cut me some more wood in a little bit as well. I'll get my bow ready here. Okay. And what I'm also going to do is I like building fireplaces for my cabins here. And it's quite simple to do, but you got to make sure you do it right. Because if you don't, you're going to burn down your place every time. Just about every time. Okay, and we'll get a nice little layout of what it's going to be. And I like giving it a little space that way. You got less of a chance of your place burning down. <clears throat> And we'll change up the look of the place by you evil cobblestone by doing that. Do, do, do. I have to look for some spruce logs too, because they're, they're pretty essential for me and stuff. You don't have to use spruce, but I, I like using spruce. Okay, and I think we'll put the door on this side here. This one's a small cabin and everything, and you can build it larger. Than that, I might move this fireplace out somewhere. I think I am. Just for the sake of more room. Here, it doesn't have to be completely inside of the cabin anyway. That way, it just makes your cabin a lot more fireproof anyway. it outside. Let's see here. And we'll put that back. Yeah. Okay. And you can do all kinds of nifty things and and I'll, I like building up the walls first, and then you you can chisel out where you want windows and, and everything. I might put just a pier window on this side. Like I say, this this cabin's a little cabin. I've built bigger, but you know we might move. So I'm not gonna go for broke on it. You know, we might move at a later date. And hey, you never know where I could find an even better looking area than what we're at now. And everything. And this is pretty much it for the, this episode. What we'll do is I'll show you some fishing tomorrow. And we will attempt to finish this and everything. I need to get some wood running low. I should hopefully have some more bricks. And another thing is, is I like making it 
the walls at least three high. That way you can have room to jump around there. So we're going up to four. Up the four here, and what you do is, is then you get your, your ceiling. Like so, and it's starting to come together pretty nice. I'll put the door here, and yeah, I think we'll. A nice window here, like so. And here's where the glass panes will come in. And like I say, when we come back, we'll finish that up and everything. Like so, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.